Today's objective is solving equations that will give us an all real numbers or no solution answer. Okay, it's a continuation of solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. All right, usually when you solve an equation, you get one solution, like x equals negative 3. Okay, however, some equations cannot be solved, while others will work for every single number. So I know this is what you're thinking. Let's do some. Oh, boy. All right, here's our first one. 5 times the quantity of 2x minus 2x plus 1 equals 10x. Do the distributive property. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 1 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Having a little bit of problem, huh? So we have 10x plus 5 equals 10x. Now, some of you may think at this point, how can this be? How can you have something plus something equal the same thing? But, you know, we'll, we'll, so we'll show you why, all right? So we look and we say, well, there's 10x on this side and 10x on this side. They're the same, so I just have, I'll just pick one. I'm going to subtract this one. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 10x from this side and 10x from this side. Positive 10x minus 10x is 0. Bring down the 5. Positive 10x minus 10x is 0. Bring down the 0. 5x equals 0. Is this true? No, this is not true. So it's no solution. That's why at this point when we were saying, how can this be, you can't have one number plus something equal the number. Like if I give you $2 and I have $2 and then I give myself another $5, do we still have the same amount of money? No. So this is a no solution equation. Here's another one. 4 times the quantity of negative 2 plus 3x equals 12x minus 5. Let's do the distributive property. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 times 3x is 12x. So negative 8 plus 12x equals 12x minus 5. Is this, is this really? I, this doesn't seem to make sense, right? Because here we have 12x with different numbers. Well, let's find out. So I subtract, hmm, they're the same. I'm going to subtract this side. Minus 12x minus 12x, I get negative 8 because plus 12x and minus 12x is 0. And plus 12x minus 12x is 0 equals negative 5. Is this true? No, it's not true. So it's no solution. Okay, so when you have uh, the same variable term but different numbers, that's no solution. And you can write no solution in whichever step you notice it. All right, one more thing, the other one, right? 7 times the quantity of 2x plus 3 equals 21 plus 4x. Do the distributive property. 7 times 2x is 14x. 7 times 3 is 21. So 14x plus 21 equals 21 plus 14x. Do you notice that these are the same terms but in reverse order? Well, if you do, that's good. If you don't and are just doing the work, let's subtract the smaller one. Oh my gosh, they're the same. I'm going to subtract this one. Okay, subtract 14x on this side, subtract 14x on this side. We're left with 21 equals 21. It's the same thing still. So this will work for all real numbers. This answer is all real numbers because since the two sides are identical, whatever number you use for x, you'll always get the same answer on both sides. Let's do one more. All right, 4 times the quantity of 2x plus 3 equals 28 plus 8x minus 16. Do the distributive property, 4 times 2x is 8x, 4 times 3 is 12. Combine like terms, 28 minus 16 is 12, so I bring down 8x plus 12. Oh my gosh, it looks exactly the same, so you don't notice that. So we're going to subtract the variable term that's the smallest. Oh my gosh, they're the same. I'm going to subtract this one. So I subtract 8x on both sides and I get 12 equals 12. It's the same number. Yes, 12 will always equal 12. It's all real numbers. And once again, you can write the all real numbers whenever you notice both sides are the same. That's it.